This is part two of the video series on rebuilding the ARC investments. And this is going to be focused on the innovation ETFs or ARC K. And I'm going to go through step by step on how to take the constituent list and enhance it and build a portfolio utilizing the portfolio expert software. Let's go ahead and dig in. In this next session, I'm going to discuss on how we're going to take and dissect all of the things that ARK Invest does and rebuild them in a much different methodology. Now, this is going to be a very important to understand that not only can you do this with ARK ETFs, you can do this with any ETF or mutual fund. I'm going to show you how to rebuild all of these strategies, make them better, and not have any internal fees. So if you have the right broker dealer, you should have no ticket fees. You should also be able to do incremental shares. So regardless of how many stocks that you want to put in to the software, you're going to be able to authenticate that in your brokerage account. So the first key element that I want to bring you into is understanding how Portfolio Expert uses an adaptive approach to portfolio management. Now, often we talk about dynamic direct indexing. This is the rebuilding of mutual funds or actually coming up and making something called your own personal fund or your personal ETF. And this is a much more efficient way to approach the markets than actually buying ETFs. The example with ARC, they have 0.75 built in, so you have a lot of management overhead to deal with. There's also some other elements there in administrative fees and other things that you can do so much better of a job. And when I get done with this, I'm going to show you how you're going to improve anywhere from 75 to maybe 150 percent over what ARC is able to do with their stocks that they are putting in their ETFs. Now, the first environment that I want to bring you in is coming up with some basic portfolio construction. Now, as I mentioned a minute ago, you're going to be able to do this with any ETF or mutual fund or any constituent list that you can come up from screening, other types of things that you can do to come up with ideas. You're not going to be stuck to picking these ETFs and what these managers think they need to be in there. What you're going to see is we're going to dynamically change the allocation. We're going to dynamically change what stocks are being held in any given time and much more efficient than what they are doing in ARC or any other investment vehicle, even if they claim to be active and all it appears to be going on with ARC is they're kind of shuffling the deck a little bit, but they still have some things that I'll talk to you about in a minute that are very typical management style. So since we're looking at ARC, style box versus thematic, this is going to be a thematic. This will be focused on their innovation portfolio it will be the goal of this second section. Planning for alpha, that's going to discussing exactly how we're going to change some different types of allocations, utilizing something we talk a lot about is multivariant trading. So we're going to be trading on a daily, weekly, monthly, and we're going to combine all of these transactions within one allocation strategy. And I'll be discussing something with you here in a few minutes called dynamic profit harvesting. It's unique to our software and it causes an acceleration of capital. And this is one of the reasons why the returns that you're going to see versus ARC are so incredible because of the profit harvesting and the ability which to cause capital to accelerate in its growth. Now, typical rebalancing, which it appears this is what ARC is doing. They're, they are doing a weighting strategy where they believe whether they're using relative strength or some other type of strategy behind the scenes. We don't know exactly what they're doing, but it appears to be a relative strength. They're doing a weighting. So they'll make one big bet. You'll notice that in their top 10 list, they'll have a big bet. Uh, for instance, in this portfolio I'm going to go through today, the big bet is in square and then everything else, it starts off at a 10%, then it's 3% and goes down. And when you start to get too diversified, you stop being able to make a lot of money. Now, the good news about ARC is that they're only holding between 30 and 50 symbols. They fall into the category that I talk a lot about, which is that concentration type strategy. 
I'm going to take them and even concentrate them further, add these dynamic rebalancing techniques, and do some other things to cause even better returns than what they're coming up with. So let's go into the software and start rebuilding these strategies. I've logged into Portfolio Expert Portfolio Manager, and now I'm going to build this ARC strategy that I talked about. Now I have a spreadsheet over on the right hand side. What I'm going to do for illustration uh, purposes is we're going to just go through and take a look at ETFs and see what we can come up with as far as rebuilding the strategy from scratch. So the very first one, I'm going to do the innovation, which is I'm going to grab these symbols, which were all the symbols that were in the ETF at the time of this design. Now, in a future video, I'm working on getting all the constituents from the beginning and doing even a monthly or quarterly snapshot. The reality is that there's a lot of stocks they have in here. There's such small weighting, sometimes they're down to 1%. They're actually immaterial. And what we want to do is take these ideas and concentrate them by utilizing a much more dynamic process. So we're going to go to the Portfolio Designer and I'm going to click on the Capital Demand Model. And what this is going to do is get me into that module that's going to allow for that dynamic profit harvesting. I'll walk you through several steps here to authenticate this portfolio. So we're going to call this ARC Invest, and we're going to call it Innovation. We hit Next, and we have the name of the portfolio. We're going to set it back since these things started in 2017. So we're just going to go back and put this to 2017. We're going to put just $100,000 in this account so it'll make sense when we get later down the road. Some of these settings I'm just going to leave as defaults. This video is not designed to show you how to completely do this step by step. There are some videos on our website that allow you to do that. This is all about concept. So in this setting here though, activity and liquidity, we want to have high activity and low liquidity. And what that really means is that the plan is to be able to concentrate the positions and have as little cash as possible. Now this type of process, which is much more dynamic than anything that ARC can do because they have a limitation. They can only go to 35% cash. They have to have 65% of their money working. It's in the prospectus and that is going to be a problem for them at some stage. And it's also the problem of ETF. I often talk to people about investing with mandates and that's what an ETF is or a mutual fund. They have a prospectus they have to adhere to. And so this is going to drive performance, especially in down periods, which there will be those periods. You're not going to be able to protect the capital. Of course, you can just get out of the ETF. That's easy enough. But from the standpoint of managing these strategies going forward, I am going to show you how to dynamically, instead of getting out of the ETFs and just trading in and out of the ETFs, to actually authenticate them through each individual stock. So the platform that you're looking at, Portfolio Expert, actually looks at each individual stock that I'm going to put into the system and makes decisions on when to own it, how much to own it. And in this case, we're setting up a multivariant environment, which means we're going to be trading on a daily or a short-term basis. We're going to have a weekly or intermediate, and we're going to have a long-term signals that are also going to be interacting with each other inside of the same portfolio utilizing the dynamic profit harvesting strategy that's built into this software. We're going to leave all transaction fees out. So we could put the 0.75 in and simulate how much better they could do with the fees. But in this case, we're doing zero. Uh, there is no management fees going to come out of this. So at this phase, this is where we are going to pick these, these symbols. When I started this video, I copied these symbols, the ARC K, which is the innovation, and what we're going to do here for now is we're just going to paste those symbols in. And I'm going to do th three different things here. Now, I have not built this portfolio ahead of time, so I'm not sure how it's going to look or how it's going to come out. But I'm going to optimize this for our daily models. And what that does when I hit optimize, it figures out which of the 
daily models it wants to use, which has the best total net profit. So it's matched up between our two models, one, two, and three, two. Now I'm gonna put that symbol list in again, and this time I'm gonna optimize weekly. And then I'm gonna add the symbol. So now you'll see the same symbol here, CERS on daily, CERS on weekly. So I'll dump these in here one more time, I'll paste them in, and I'm going to build them on a monthly. So what I, when I add the symbols now, you're gonna see all the symbols in there three times. What actually happens when you go through this type of building a strategy and you're gonna trade on multiple levels, we're going to be able to authenticate all these trades. So we're going to trade the same symbol in this case, a hundred and there's 129 symbols. Well, that's divided by three. So that is not how many total symbols, that's not how many total unique symbols, but how many times we're trading each one of these. So, so this will get us to the next level. When we go to, to the next button, it's going to calculate something. This is where it comes up with the dynamic harvesting. So what's interesting about this particular mix, we're only going to get a 0.015, so 1.5% per trade is going to be allocated out. So this is what we're going to do together. I'm going to go ahead and hit finish with that allocation factor. And you'll see it's turned to purple and it is running right now. We'll take probably a, less than a minute for it to run. When it turns, it's going to show us the returns year to date and we'll be able to bring up all the stats. Okay. Right now, ARK Invest is up 12.388% for 2021 so that's for two weeks of of trading that's what it, that's what it's up right now so let's review what i just built now, i did a couple things while i was off screen is i put the arc invest portfolio i put arc k which is the actual etf which is the blue line here the green line is the strategy that I built with all of the constituents, and the purple line down at the bottom is the S&P 500. Now, I want to show you a spectrum just taking all of the stocks, but we're going to be able to filter these stocks and make them even better. And what's really impressive is when you take all of the top 10 or top 20 stocks from the ARK Invest environment, then build that portfolio it's amazing what kind of returns you can get. And now you only have one portfolio to manage and you have the ability which to go to cash. And I'm gonna show you a couple times, including last year in 2020, when the markets got extremely volatile early on in the year, how well this approach actually added a lot of value. This is where the value really came in when these ETFs, the markets, what, however you want to categorize them, actually roll over, you're going to see a substantial amount of downside risk. But what will happen with the adaptive approach on Portfolio Expert, you'll actually build some cash and you'll sell out a lot of the stocks that aren't working anymore. So this, this chart that we're looking at right now is just year to date, so 2021. Okay, so you can see right now, the ETF is outperforming just a little bit. The ARK Invest strategy is the green line is underperforming. If we start to move out to a six month look, you'll see that the ETF is still outperforming, but it did have some relative downside that came down to the bottom here and caught up. But it's definitely on a six month basis, looks pretty good. We go out to a one year basis, this is where you start to see th that the ETF has much more risk. And in fact, in early 2020, the downside risk in the, the ETF, you see where my cursor is, the downside risk was greater than the S&P, which is the purple line. Now, if you look at the green line, you'll see that the portfolio expert strategy, in fact, only had about a 3% downside where the ARK Invest actually had over 30% downside at one stage. So it caught up quicker because there was some, the way that it was allocated. So that that's good, but this is what we want to eliminate. And I've been teaching investors for over 20 years. What you want to do is to protect that downside. If you can figure out how to do that, things start to add up 
to a lot more money. Now, this is the complete constituent list, and I'm going to show you before I finish this video how to take this particular list and make it even better. Let's start to look out a little bit more. Now, this is the two-year, and it pretty much matched here the portfolio because it, it didn't do as bad during that downdraft. It was only down um, slightly during that period of time during March 2020. But then the ETF caught up, so they're normalized. When we go out to a three-year basis, this is where you start to see the accumulation of protecting the downside over just a three-year period. So the ETF is up 260%, and the constituent list of everything that's in there is up about 320 So there's about a 60% differential just in doing all of the stocks. But now you have to start to look at a number of elements that you can start to build in by looking and using the portfolio expert system. You can start to look at which of the constituents inside of the portfolio actually model better than others. And you can start making choices. Uh, we do a lot of training online. This is one of the techniques that I teach you. So you can actually go in and make selections based on the abilities of portfolio experts' algorithms to make decisions. Now, there's, as I mentioned, there's two primary algorithms running on multivariant daily, weekly, and monthly increments. And then you also have the allocation model, which brings up that dynamic profit harvesting that is playing in as well. But what you'll see here is accumulation of of events that are really important to understand. Now, I want to draw a couple things on here and just show you the characteristics of doing the individual symbols, being able to get the cash, and all of those elements. Here is the lows of the ETF, that is the blue line. It made a new low in 2019. Then we had another low here, and you'll notice that it was able to make a new low on multiple occasions, just looking here at the, the blue line as it goes down. If we look at the green line, which is the ARK Invest Innovation Strategy, there's never a lower low, but this is the goal, is to be able to stair-step the equity. And so it looks like this when you, when you start to take out the noise. This is all you really wanna do, is you, you wanna stair uh, stair-step this equity higher. And I draw a line through here, and you get the basic concept. The idea is the previous big major low, you don't want to take it out. Compared to what the ETF did in the blue line here was not even comparable from a risk standpoint. There's a cumulative benefit of getting in and out of the stocks, changing the allocations, and protecting the downside. And further time goes, if we could take this out 10 years, the difference might be a, probably a triple or more. And this is one of the things, when you start to run this thing at a longer term basis, this is what this accumulation of protecting and then advancing the equity as it goes down the road, the amount of benefit is so substantial. Each time that there is a decline in equity, it's not as low as the previous low. So you, you keep starting, once you redeploy your money, you keep starting from a higher point each time. Okay, this time what I want to do is rebuild the same strategy, but we're going to rebuild it with just the top 10. So we're going into the capital demand model again, and we're going to go through here. This time we're going to call it ARC Innovation Top 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to trade on the same level. There's a couple more things that we could do. We could evaluate whether the daily models and the weekly models working together. We, there's a number of iterations we could do to fine tune the strategy. I'm just giving you a high level, something so you can understand what you can do. And this platform is an amazing sandbox to play with so you can build and walk forward all of your ideas. So you're no longer stuck to following what ARC thinks are the best stocks. You can put the best stocks, even if you pick them all wrong and those stocks go down, you're not gonna be in them. It's going to recognize what the trending direction is, whether it's up or down. If it's down, it's just going to put you in cash. So let's go ahead quickly and build build this portfolio. Same thing as before. We're gonna set it to 2017. 
management fees are going to be zero. Remember, ARC puts in 0.75. And now what we want to do is I'm going to just bring this sheet up. So when we look at this spreadsheet, what we're going to see here is here is the ARC Innovation Top 10. So I'm just going to grab those top 10 and I'm going to put these in the portfolio. So I'm going to copy those. We're going back to Portfolio Expert. We're going to paste those symbols in just like we did before. We're going to optimize them for daily, weekly, and monthly. Add daily, paste it in again, weekly, paste in again, and monthly. Add symbols. So just like before, we got them all three. This time we only have 30 symbols instead of 130. So we're going to be able to make a bigger allocation and bigger bets on these strategies. So this will be definitely more interesting. So now all of a sudden, if you recall, the previous portfolio with 130 stocks had an allocation of 0.15. Now we're making a 6% bet on the initial allocation factor. Now there is some videos on our website if you want to understand this allocation factor at a higher level, but for this illustration, I'm just going to walk you through everything. So we have that allocation. We're just going to hit finish, and this portfolio is, is going to be built. We'll go back over, over here. So now what we're going to see is, here's our, our top 10 portfolio. Here, here's our ARC. Hang on. Here's our top 10. Here's ARC Invest. And then here's ARC K. So now you'll see when I, when I bring up this full screen, you'll see that the pink line is actually the top 10. So we have a number of things going on here. We have the ARC K. The lowest line in this strategy now, this is going back to uh, the last three years, is the S&P, the yellow line. But when we look at the blue line, which is the actual ETF, you're going to see it's up still 260 like it was before, looking back on that look back. The full list was up about 320. And now with the top, using the top 10, we're now well up over about 410%. So not quite a double, but this is three years of a look back. And you're going to see that all of those characteristics that I talked to you about a minute ago continue to happen here. So this is a brief illustration of how to make what ARC Invest is doing with their ETFs. They have complete transparency, so it is super simple to get their constituent list to build it in here. And you're already going to save our platform fee because you're, you're going to be eliminating all of the management fees that are in ETF. And you can see the effect of the management fees just on this. Uh, it's pretty substantial. And the difference in utilizing the ARC ETFs, and like I said before, yes, you could just get out of them if they start to go down so you can protect your money. But to look at a, a long-term buy and hold on a strategy like this, you don't have any downside protection. You notice that each one of these had protected substantial amount of the move. And it actually becomes more evident when you go to the one year look back, you'll see that the ARC strategy actually was down more than the stock market was or that the S&P was at the time. You can see all the other strategies and how they play out. So hopefully this illustration showed you some basics of how things are able to be done within our platform. I will be going through and taking a number of the ARC strategies and rebuilding them. Thank you so much for watching this. If you want to get access to our strategy, go to PortfolioExpert.com. That's expert with no E. And you can sign up for a free trial for this platform and start building your own ETF and mutual funds. We call them personal funds, and this will give you an edge like you've never had before. And you can get away from speculating and start managing your money. Thanks again for watching.